going to school, going to varsity, doing all of that stuff. It's, there's not, I don't see anything wrong with it because there's so many people that I know who have found success with it, but there's also so many people that I know currently who are struggling a lot. So I think it comes down to your own personal convictions and choices. Like that's when, that's what's going to drive you to do what you need to do in life. I'm a producer, I'm an entrepreneur, basically in the e-commerce space. I also run my own marketing agency. I'm a producer, musician, vocalist, also a digital, digital entrepreneur. I'm a dropshipper, I'm a forex trader, and uh, my life is pretty much about the hustle right now. So, yeah. <laughs> My nigga, you remember when we went to Moloko? I'm like, nah, but we were with this nigga last week. Candy, that's his brother. Basically, uh, e-commerce is all in all selling things online. You are the middleman, right? Um, there's products out there that are sold for cheaper prices, basically. You sell it for a higher price to make profit. So basically what we do is we build websites. Uh, you do your product research, you find your products that you want to sell. You put it on your website, obviously it needs to be professional. You do your advertising and then the way we do our advertising is through Facebook and Instagram. I started trading Forex in grade 10. That was about 2017. Uh, 2017 it took me about seven years to get to like where I am today as comfortable as I am lost a lot of money been through a lot of knowledge um day-to-day -day responsibilities you know it's obviously in the mornings you go out and check I personally go out and check um on my computer you know how my store is doing in terms of the numbers of you know the clients coming in I check my ads also in the morning you know how they're performing how they're delivering because you can get to a stage where right now you have ad fatigue where whatever advertising that you were using for your products of your store you know get fatigued like they don't perform as well so in that instance now you have to create new ads create you know come up with a new strategy to kind of implement the same thing nowadays it's, it's one of the most um I'm not going to say easiest ways to make money, but most convenient ways to make money. Um, you can do this sitting at home. Um, you don't even have to leave your house, but you can make money. You can make a teacher's salary, uh, an engineer's salary in a month with that type of um, hustle that we're pushing. You know, what we do on the weekends after a week of work or whatever, we go out to work, we go out to the club, you know, we splurge a bit, we buy a few bottles. So, my lifestyle is mostly going to the club. Clubbing, going out. This moment, you and me together. This might last forever. I wanna make it better. Take my heart, don't break it. Because that's one of my favorite things to buy, Dom Perignon. Oh shit! But vision wise, after doing everything I've done so far, going to the clubs, meeting new people, talking, getting different ideas from different people, you know, I see myself doing better things like vacations, holidays with my friends, maybe family sometimes, you know, just enjoying life. Cause yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a big world out there. There's a lot to see, a lot to learn. With my friends, the ones that are involved in this digital space, when we do it together, it ensures trust. Because especially in e-commerce, being open with your products, 
you shouldn't be open because then you're creating competition for yourself. But it all goes to, it's all healthy competition. We don't fight, we don't envy each other. We all we celebrate together. I mean, if all of you guys are making money, why not? <laughs> Music, that's a very touchy subject, like it's my passion really above anything. Um, I make mainly three genres which are I'm a piano, hip hop and r and I started off with hip hop, now I make I'm a piano, I DJ I'm a piano as well. I started as a rapper and then I met my friend Gilly and then he introduced me to producing. I started producing as well, producing hip hop, yeah rapping and all that and then we went into R&B that's where I think I found like my lyricism in terms of writing I write things for the heart and then now with the whole piano thing going on we make piano <laughs> Most people that are in school doing whatever are in there because of their parents, you know, and because number one, because of their parents and number two, they don't have the personal drive to go after whatever they're looking for, they don't have the courage. And I don't blame them at the same time, these are not things we were taught at home, these are things that we were brought up with from a very young age that there's a system, you have to go to school, get your degree, get your job, feed your family until you die and the process goes on. But I feel like there's a lot more to life than that. At the end of the day, um, what can I say? It's all about money, if we're being realistic. Because the route you take in um, tertiary, you can take whatever course you want to take, a doctorate or whatever. At the end of the day, it's all about surviving and making money. So I felt like taking that um, route earlier in my life and making all the money now uh, before I become older, you understand?